Hello YouTube, this is Chelsea for STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue using tools that we can use in order to compile and run OpenCV programs. As uh, you remember, in the last tutorial, we used uh, auto tools. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you another alternative to using CMake. But just in case, uh, for those situations where you're stuck and you cannot use CMake for any reason, um, it could be uh, like you have a path issue, it could be like in this situation, uh, the compiler is telling me everything is fine, and then when I go and hit make, I get a funky error, and it's telling me that it's that, and then it, that, I mean, and let's say for those situations that you don't have the time to troubleshoot, you don't have time to uninstall, install, uh, mess with the batch RC with the com file. For those situations that you just need to get the job done right away. I'm going to show you this other way. And it will work in any Linux distribution because it's part of the GNU make. And all you need to do is create this make file right here and put these two lines inside. This CPP flag stuff the cpp does not stand for c plus plus it stands for the c preprocessor if you use this flag instead of a language dependency flag like if you use c flags it will be for c if you use the cxx flag it will be for c plus plus but this one it will work for both okay and uh it's because it's, it's right here it's the same one that we will run if we were running it right off the terminal if OpenCV is properly configured in your system it should work so let's say that we want to run it so now let's run let me remove that binary there so not to throw you off so now you have one source file c++ and one c file Okay, I'm going to run both. So let's do make. And then all you need is this without the extension. So it gives the name for the new binary that it's going to create. And it's going to automatically look for the source file in this directory. As you can see, it, look, it found, it told the G++ uh, compiler to get to work to compile this program right here, and it was able to find the, the uh, library with no problem. So now let's say that you want to run, well, let me, let's run it, right? So you know what that it does. This is right out of the, out of the OpenCV samples, is the log polar uh, display image, and then let me and it will show this image. Happy New Year 2017. It's got the cortical, it's got the retinal, and the cartesian. And as you can see, this the, in the cartesian, the retinal, and then the cortical. If you want to run, learn more about this uh, uh, the polar, uh, log polar and uh, log linear, you can read this article. Uh, it's, a, it's a very good article. So let's continue with our tutorial. So now, instead of running that one, we're going to be running the other source file. So instead of running this guy, now I'm going to run the C file with the C extension. And I'm going to use the same make file, so nothing changes. So all you need to do is do make polar transforms, no extension. And as you can see, it told the GCC compiler this time to get to work and compile this file. And it was also able to find the LQDART. And now, if we go here, We go here and now we run it does the this one is the C file it's the it's, this is the linear polar the log polar 
and the recover image. Okay, and you can see my face there with the microphone in the in this in this small uh, picture here. And this is the end of this tutorial. These are for situations when when you need an alternative to using CMake. And uh, there will be situations that for X reason you cannot use CMake. This is for you. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and follow me on GitHub and Twitter. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.